Let's talk about getting a job as a data scientist without a degree in data science or data analytics, specifically a master's of data science or data analytics. One, what are the chances of you actually getting a data science job without those degrees? Two, what are the reasons that some companies might prefer students without that degree or will only take students with that degree? And three, what can you do to make your chances better than your peers who are also trying to get these jobs without those degrees? What's going on guys? All right, today we're gonna to talk about getting a job as a data scientist without a degree in data science or data analytics. Now, this is just gonna be a, a bluntly honest video. I see this question asked every single day by dozens of people in Facebook groups for data science. The chances of you actually getting a job from a corporation, if it's a decent sized company and not a little mom and pop place, to do actual data science or have the title of data science without a master's in data science or data analytics is almost zero. Uh, it's probably not gonna happen. And there's a couple reasons for that. And I'm gonna tell you, the first one is more than likely if you're watching this video, you have a computer science degree. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. You're probably a very good developer. And I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit, some things that you can do. But data science is focused on statistics and the statistical analysis of data. So a data science program or a data analytics program is going to be centered around statistical analysis and statistical and mathematical methods used to derive information from data, not coding. Now, don't get me wrong, they're going to use a lot of coding. That's gonna be Python, R, and SQL. They're gonna use those three languages and you need to be proficient at those if you're gonna be a data scientist. But those are not the predominant things taught in the program. Those are just tools taught in order to do statistical analysis of data. So unlike a computer science degree program where the majority of it is taught in networking, maybe some IT related stuff, uh, maybe security stuff, and then a lot of coding, maybe design, right? You're gonna be more well-rounded in the IT department than you are in data science. And I get it, you probably wanna be a data scientist because it's, it's pretty lucrative right now. It's a big buzzword, everybody wants to do it. And there's a really good chance that you're gonna be a little higher in an organization and not have so much of that IT structure and have more of a little kind of a team structure uh, and, and you can move up pretty high in an organization right now as a data scientist and, and make a pretty lucrative career. So that's one of the reasons that companies really prefer people to have that actual degree is just the fact that they want people who were trained in actually deriving statistical analysis from data as opposed to just the coding portion. The second thing is the starting salary. The starting salaries for these positions is pretty high, guys. So right now, it's very, very common in the industry for a company to want somebody with three to five years experience before they'll even hire you. So not only does this mean that you without those master's degrees are not qualified, but even like myself, I have not been in the industry for five years yet. I would also not be qualified for the time range that they're looking for in that degree. Now they might look at my resume and see all the things that I've done and they might, you know, kind of waive some of that just because of where I'm at in, the, in my current corporation and some of the things that I do. But time-wise, I, I don't even meet the mark. So somebody coming out of college definitely isn't going to. So, you know, those are the two big reasons. One, the degree centered around statistical analysis. And two, the salaries are just so high right now that the bar has been set really high for what companies expect for their money. Now, let's talk about what you can do to get a job as a data scientist without one of those degrees. And here's what I recommend. If you're a computer science major or any kind of IT related major, what I recommend is finding a company, do research on the companies that you're applying for and get into the department that you're more suited for right now. So if you're a computer science major, go into that IT realm or go into development, go do UX design, right? Go do some kind of uh, development work. And then what you wanna do though is go into that development work for a company that has a data science program in the company. So say you're ready to do UX design. You don't just wanna do UX design for any company, right? You wanna try and do UX design for a company that has a data science program. And then what you can do is you can start learning that stuff on the side and you can kind of start talking to the people in the data science community in that company, let them know you're interested in it a little bit and then kind of show them what you've been working on, do some real world stuff, maybe get out on Kaggle, start entering competitions and, and, and ranking pretty high on those, do good in that. And then 
like I said, talk to those other hiring managers and the other individuals in that data science program and let them know what you're doing. See if maybe some of them want to do Kaggle competitions with you. You can say, hey, look, I've been doing this Kaggle stuff. I really love it. I'm really enjoying your field, right? I think that's something I would enjoy. I'm looking for somebody to add to my team for this next Kaggle competition. Would you like to do that? And then maybe that's kind of your foot in the door. Then when they start thinking about hiring for a new position, well, hey, the guy, you know, Tommy down the hall uh, in IT, He's been helping us and he's been killing it on Kaggle competitions. And me and him have made a little bit of money on the side doing these competitions or we're just ranking really high. Uh, and I enjoy the guy. I like hanging out with him. Maybe we should give him a shot, right? That's going to be your best way into the industry. So I, I hope that this video doesn't come across as just kind of soul crushing, but I had to put this video out there because I see this asked at least a dozen times a day from people who don't have degrees in this field and most of them just have a, a bachelor's degree too they don't even have a master's degree so you know a master's is really what people want for this type of position and if you have a if you have a bachelor's your your best way into this is to work your way into it through a program so i hope this isn't soul crushing guys i just wanted to be kind of blunt and just put this out there because i see this question asked so many times i hope this gives you some good insight into how i think you could get into this field and do much better at getting a position without a degree than your peers are. Because what's gonna happen is, is a lot of your peers are gonna get discouraged when they find out that they can't get this job and they're not gonna put the effort in. And then you're gonna be in a company, in an IT department doing what I told you, killing it on Kaggle, talking to the department, making friends inside data science, and before you know it, you are gonna switch over, right? I, I personally know people who got hired as data analysts, which is a much easier field to get into and then are now data scientists. So it can be done, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that. It'll help me out a lot and it'll help the channel grow. Please give this video a thumbs up. The YouTube algorithm really likes that and it'll help also. Till next time, guys, try not to work too hard.